All right, guys, I'm gonna talk about five fancy cat breeds that make you feel like royalty when you own them. And I've got two fancy kittens with me right here. All right, I'm just kidding. These are just some tabbies that were found outside in a bush. All right, now let's get to the royal felines. <laughs> So the first cat I'd want to own is an Abyssinian. These cats are strikingly wild looking and they have an impression of an athlete who just strolled out of the jungle. When I was a little girl, my dad used to see an Abyssinian breeder and I got to see all of the kittens and they would lick my hands and purr and they just looked like little panthers. I was obsessed with them. Abyssinians are lit and long with a lean muscular build and moderately wedge-shaped head and large almond-shaped eyes. The Abyssinian is the super model of the cats. From the large ears, small oval feet, and long slender tail, the Abyssinian is covered in a fine, short, and glossy coat with pretty colors such as fawn, blue, cinnamon, and ruby. The second cat breed to make you feel like royalty is the Egyptian Meow. Just kidding, the Egyptian Mao cat. And this is a short coated small cat breed and it's one of the few naturally spotted cats. The Egyptian Mao comes in silver, bronze, or smoke. They are elegant and athletic looking with neat rounded paws and a lean muscular build. The striking markings and large round eyes gives them the appearance of being slightly worried, which is the typical look of this breed. The third cat to make you feel like royalty is the Persian. And I just love their grumpy faces. They are so cute. So they might have a grumpy face, but make no mistake, the Persian cat is as sweet as it can be. The fancy feelings are loving and charming creatures that would get along with the entire family if introduced to them as kittens. And Persians come in just about any color tabby, white, black, calico, and more. Number four is the Turkish Angora. So I thought this cat only came in white because every time I Googled it, looking at it to own or seeing if there were any breeders in my area to get kittens, I would mostly see white Turkish Angoras, but they actually come in a lot of different colors. The Turkish Angora has a sleek coat, but no undercoat, making less matting and less grooming necessary. The Turkish Angoras are also one of the ancient natural breeds of cat. Having originated in central Anatolia or the country Turkey, the breed has been domesticated as early as the 17th century. Outside of the United States, the breed is usually referred to as simply the Angora or Ankara cat. The fifth cat to make you feel like royalty is the Cornish Rex. So the Cornish Rex isn't quite a naked sphinx, but they have a soft curly coat with wrinkles all over their body that hardly sheds. Even though they look like they're from Egypt, these cats were actually selectively bred and created in England. They are an adventurous cat who are brave and like to explore. They are very affectionate and seek attention from their owners and even enjoy playing fetch. Cornish Rexes are also secretly so smart. The fact that they play fetch blows me away. And the fact that they're from England, but they look like an Egyptian cat. I swear these cats could be aliens, but who knows? I'm still developing my theory that all cats really could be aliens. All right, guys, I am just kidding. All these cats, they're royalty. We all know that. If you guys love this video and love seeing all these cool cat breeds, hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you back here on my veterinary channel.